CleanSpark is reporting earnings on Wednesday the 10th. And in this video, I'm gonna go over what we should expect. We're also gonna look at CleanSpark and Bitcoin on the chart. Bitcoin just broke a pattern and now we have some future levels to watch out for. And CleanSpark is inching towards that golden cross. Now I'm always curious what you guys are thinking. So let me know in the comments below what you think we're gonna see for CleanSpark on this earnings and also next earnings. We already have kind of an idea. We just got our recent Bitcoin mining update and that's gonna be the first month on our current quarter. But let's get right into this. Consider hitting the like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Let's check out CleanSpark and a little bit of Bitcoin. Now, first off real quick, Bitcoin. We have been moving up for the last six months or so. We did see our golden cross back in February. We are now pulling back. We kind of broke this consolidation pattern. We were kind of trying to ride up the 50 MA and now we broke it. We'll see where we go from there. I'm personally in the camp of, we've already seen the bottom here on Bitcoin in the $15,000 area. And I think it's highly unlikely we're gonna see that again, see those prices again. Could we see 20K? Maybe. I think what's more likely at the worst is we can see somewhere around 22, 23,000, which rests right at this 200 MA right here and this trend, the support level on this channel we've been writing up. So why do I think we're not gonna see new lows on Bitcoin? Why do I think we're not gonna, you know, drop drastically? Well, we do have the halving coming up. We are now under one year away. And if history is an indication of the future, we should continue up. We should continue to move up. The chart is now looking bullish. We saw our golden cross and we are inching towards the halving. Now, I did want to give you guys some context on earnings for CleanSpark. They're expecting a negative EPS, but they're also expecting record breaking revenue. Now, keep in mind the earnings that they're reporting is going to be January, February, March. And if you add the revenue on those mining updates, they're looking at a little over $42 million. And I think this estimate wasn't made for just no reason, just out of the blue for no reason. When you go back to their year over year quarter. So when we get our earnings, they're going to give us a quarter over quarter, what their revenue looks like, revenue growth, all that good stuff. And then they're going to give us a year over year. What is their revenue? I think their goal here, the exec's goal was to see not a decline year over year, but actually some year over year growth in revenue. What they reported one year ago was about $41.6 million. And this was when Bitcoin was right around the $40,000, $50,000 area. And we also saw the quarter before that was kind of similar, $41 million quarter. This was when Bitcoin was at its peak. So while I do expect we're not necessarily gonna see a profit yet here, like we did back when Bitcoin was at its peak, I do think we're gonna see record-breaking revenue here. And all it takes is a simple look through their January, February, March uh, mining updates, like I mentioned. And I do have previous videos going over that. I'll try to leave you one at the end screen. But one thing to also think about here is the quarter we're in. What are we gonna be comparing against year over year? Well, this was actually when Bitcoin was falling, if you remember. Their record-breaking, you know, top, tip-top revenue that they saw was when Bitcoin was starting to already fall. There's a bit of a lag on earnings. Just like what we're about to see, finally, we're finally getting our earnings for January, February, March, and we're already in May. But the good thing is the quarter we're currently in, the year over year number we have to compare against is right around $31 million. I personally think they can easily see that. And I think the exec's main goal here isn't to just see continued revenue growth from here, but at least see a year over year revenue growth while also adding to their Bitcoin balance. And if you guys are familiar with their mining updates you'll know that this last mining update as well as the one previously they were actually adding to their bitcoin balance while i believe january and february they were actually taking from their bitcoin balance and selling more than they were mining they got all the way down to about 100 bitcoin before they started adding back to their balance sheet because i think they did reach their goal here of right around 42 million dollars in revenue so their goal was to see a year over year increase in revenue and the quarter we're in now, they're gonna have an easier time reaching this 30 something million in revenue. The negative will be is if we do have a really good quarter where we see 42 million or so, which is what I expect. Well, next quarter we might see a quarter over quarter decline in revenue. But what I personally think is the execs are kind of weighing the risk to reward of selling as much Bitcoin as they can to have good quarters now compared to holding this Bitcoin and waiting for the halving while Bitcoin will likely rise in price even more. So a little bit of patience will mean more money in the end if they do hold that Bitcoin because the value of Bitcoin will be much higher. But let's see what they saw for their last mining update. They pulled in almost $12 million. They sold 407 Bitcoin, whereas they mined 524. So they added right around 100 Bitcoin to their balance. Now they're sitting at around 300 Bitcoin. And I'm personally of the belief that I'd rather see them add to their Bitcoin than see you know, each quarter moving forwards have revenue growth constantly. I think their strategy in the January, February, March quarter was to see a year over year revenue growth. And we'll see the strategy that they utilize 
in this quarter we're currently in april may june but let me know if that made any sense to you guys do you think that's their strategy are they now trying to add to their bitcoin in anticipation of the having in anticipation of the hype one thing to also realize about earnings coming up and it was also mentioned in their mining update is they were mentioning their mining growth they were mentioning new machines that should come online very soon and as they said in their own words we expect to maintain this edge as the pace of deliveries for the newly released s19j pro plus machines ramp up and are installed at our sandersville and washington facilities later this year sandersville will also host the bulk of the xps 45,000 in total that we announced a few weeks ago accelerating important upgrades to our fleet efficiency so what we should see very soon is a ramp up of that hash rate and this will of course contribute to their revenue moving forwards and the earnings call is definitely going to go into more detail about their mining rigs and when they're expecting deliveries when they're expecting them to go online but let me know what you guys think are we going to have a good quarter here are we a few quarters away from profitability and potentially seeing revenue somewhere we've never seen revenue before i do personally think we're going to have a record-breaking quarter for revenue but will that be enough for wall street as they potentially won't be profitable yet this is definitely not the environment for small caps that aren't profitable as interest rates are still very high but I'm curious what you guys think is going to happen for earnings do we continue higher from here let me know how you think wall street is going to deal with this when earnings does come out and also where do you think bitcoin will be over the next couple months i personally think we can potentially test the twenty-three thousand dollar area at the worst before moving back up but thanks as always for watching guys i appreciate you and i'll see you later